these two story rival teams going at it. Once again, NFC North at stake. Rodgers, last time you saw the pack knocked out in the first quarter, broken collarbone. First quarter, marches him down the field. Here on third and goal, looking for Jared Boykin, but finding Chris Conte for the INT. Great play by Conte. Came off his receiver, made the play on the prospective receiver. So here comes Jay Cutler looking for Brandon Marshall, 37 yards on the pitch and catch, and the tippy toe on the sideline. Great throwing pitch. Is it then? Cutler to Matt Forte. Talk about running backs having great years, LT. Yes, versatile running back, one of the best all-around backs we have in the National Football League. So Chicago capitalizes on the early turnover, goes up seven zips. Second quarter, Rodgers looking for his Mr. Reliable, Jordy Nelson, off his mitts and into the mitts of Tim Jennings, and that banged-up Bears defense forcing a couple of turnovers. Ball was thrown just a little bit behind. Jordy Nelson was unable to make that catch. Bears will be forced to punt, and then the craziest play of the game. Packers driving. Rodgers, ball fell out of his hands, and Jared Boykin picks it up. Sidelines yelling at him, go run with it! Run with it! Amazing. He does into the end zone. So the referees look at each other. They say, that's a touchdown. Oh, boy. So, of course, every scoring play is reviewed. The ball was fumbled out of his hand, then knocked forward as he was following through. So it is indeed a fumble. The correct call was made on the field. As Boykin, he's just walking around. Nobody on the field, 22 players, realized that was a fumble. He had to hear it from the sideline. So That's that how it's going huge, for the Bears defense this season. Huge play, and the Packers up 13-7 at the break. Third quarter, same score, but they get the ball to start the second half. They have to punt it. Now, who's this? It's the best of ever, ever, ever. Your baby. The best of all time. And he's angry that he did not get a post bowl Berth. Well, no, no. he's trying to get a playoff berth. 49 yards on that scamper. Sets up the Bears in great field position. Five plays later, it's Matt Forte. We saw him through the air earlier, this time on the ground. Nice cut back right there and able to get in the end zone. Easy run for Matt Forte. All set up by my baby. Packers ensuing drive. James starts. You know, everybody forgets about him because of Eddie Lacy. We'll forget about this guy, but nice cut inside the hole and way to finish the run James Starks 41 yards on that one is longest of the season three plays later Rogers to Randall Cobb welcome back from your broken leg this was a great improvise by both of these guys you got Cobb trying to run a corner out and he came back inside for the easy touchdown but here come the Bears Cutler looking deep downfield old John Jeffrey if he isn't the best number two receiver in the league I don't know who is this was a cover two Safety played it terribly wrong for the Packers, and they took advantage of it. He was ruled inches shy of the end zone, but now Matt Forte says, you know what, I'll take the fantasy points too. <laughs> I'm in, and the Bears reclaim the lead after his third touchdown of the day. Chicago's next drive, Cutler to Forte, and this is what he does so well out of the backfield, LT. Like you miss, like you miss again, and watch he finish the run. I like that. Gain of 33. Same drive for the Bears. On to the fourth, so we're going a different direction. Cutler, look at the adjustment by Brandon Marshall. The spin, the pirouette! That's amazing for a big man. He showed some quick agility. Recapture the ball with his vision and go get the touchdown. Big play. Spin all the way around. That is impressive, and now the Bears' lead is eight. But here comes Green Bay. You got your MVP at the helm, Rodgers to Andrew Corliss for 22. I don't know how Conte did not knock it down or pick it off or something. Oh. It goes right between his mitts. Oh, boy. So a gain of 22. Then four plays later, first and goal, Eddie Lacy. This guy runs so hard. You see Aaron Rodgers trying to lead the bluff. <laughs> Great job. So the Packers, they settle for the PAT instead of try for two. They're down one digit. Bears ensuing drive, third and 17. Cutler looking for Alshon Jeffrey and just tipped away at the end Coming by Sam Shields. Can make that flight. So here come the Packers. Fourth and one at their own 22. John Kuhn gets it. Whew. Barely just moving the chains. Three plays later, under four minutes to go. Third and four, Rodgers. Scrambling. Makes the move on Lance Briggs and picks up the first down. He's one of the more mobile quarterbacks in the National Football League, making plays with his legs also. 
Four plays later, fourth and one from their own 44. Two minutes to go, and that also moves the chains. Rodgers to Jordy Nelson for the six-yard game. Now it's fourth and eight, under a minute to go. Rodgers, flush left, throws wide open for Randall Cobb. How did he get that open? Cover three, safety, big case in the middle of the field, and Rodgers scrambles. He makes something happen. Jake Cutler can only wonder what, what, what. Ah. So Cobb oh. just runs straight down the middle of the field. The 48-yard score. The Packers, however, fail on the two-point try, so their lead is five with under 40 to go. Third and 10 now for Cutler. Slings it, but it's Sam Shields who's going to knock it. No, it you pick it, it off. You pick it off. You don't knock it down. Pick it off. And just like that, the Packers have won their third straight NFC North championship.